The now 68-year-old TV icon who once played Sarah Rush is more than your classic sexy blonde actress. She is not only popular in television, but has paved her career by appearing in over 250 films and shows. As a writer, producer, stand-up comedian, and inspirational speaker, this million-dollar net worth of a cowgirl from Texas has made it big. Tune in and let's uncover the steamy facts about Lydia Cornell. Since we supply you with the best celebrity juicy facts, please subscribe to our channel and we will make sure that it will be worth your while. If you leave a comment and mention I subscribed, we'll surely thank you forever. Lydia has some historical and family drama. The American actress was born Lydia Kornilov on the 23rd of July, 1953 in El Paso, the sixth largest city in the southwestern part of the U.S. state of Texas. Her mother, Irma Jean Stowe, was a successful concert violinist who passed away last April 2021, nine months after the death of her second husband, Charles Weiss. Her daughters took turns in taking care of their mother over the past six years. Lydia Kornilov's maternal side is rooted back in her great-great-grandmother, the infamous author Harriet Beecher Stowe. Harriet wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin, published in 1852, which portrays the severe circumstances of enslaved African Americans during her era. Harriet was also an active part of the movement to abolish slavery in the late colonial era of the American Civil War during the 1800s. Lydia's father was the Russian violinist Gregory Jacob Kornilov, who attended the Los Angeles Conservatory of Music and Arts and became an assistant concertmaster of the El Paso Symphony Orchestra. Lydia's father also had an interesting Cold War background. His family fled the Bolsheviks when he was a boy and lived in Shanghai for a time, surviving the Japanese invasion before they moved to the United States to get citizenship. Lydia's parents had a romantic first meeting at a recital through a mutual friend and had their serendipitous first date at the Hollywood Bowl. Irma married Gregory 15 years her senior in a small ceremony held at their storefront. Lydia was raised by a proud single mom. Gregory Kornilov was determined to raise his children in a good public district. Thus, the family moved to Scarsdale when he took a good position in Manhattan. But in 1977, he suffered a fatal heart attack, leaving a widowed wife and three children. They moved back to El Paso to be near her immediate family. Lydia's brother was a piano prodigy. The late Paul Gregory Kornilov predeceased his mother due to an overdose of sedatives, while her sister Catherine Kornilov co-founded the Texas-proud dyke rock band called Two Nice Girls in 1985. Catherine is also a composer and a sound designer. Lydia was Little Miss Cotton. In her fourth grade, Lydia was selected to be El Paso's Little Miss Cotton in 1963. She was nine years old when she took on the stage at Mesita Elementary School. Lydia attended Scarsdale Junior High School and Scarsdale High School, wherein she graduated in 1971. She then enrolled at the University of Colorado Boulder. She took several studies in business, anthropology, drama, and language classes in English, Russian, and Spanish. She was the iconic musician's kitchen girl. She worked as a kitchen girl and photographer in the Caribou Ranch in Nederland, Colorado, during her sophomore and junior years. She had the chance to meet iconic musicians Billy Joel, Carole King, Joni Mitchell, David Cassidy, Dennis Wilson, and American folk musician and photographer Henry Diltz. Her job was to bring food trays to the cabins of the said rock stars, including the Beach Boys, America, and Chicago. The American country rock band the Ozark Mountain Daredevils gave credit to Lydia on their album titled Men From Home. She also got the chance to become the road manager of Michael Murphy, who is a multi-Grammy nominee singer-songwriter performing Western country and pop music. She finally graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Business, majors in Advertising and English Drama in 1976. In 1977, at the time of her father's death, Lydia joined her family to stay in The Hague, a city on the western coast of the Netherlands in the Northern Seas. It is also considered the capital of the province of South Holland, as well as the seat of government and royal capital of the Netherlands. Her family then moved back to El Paso, Texas. That's when she decided to pursue her acting career in Los Angeles, taking on the screen name Lydia Cornell. She took on a job at a recording studio and album cover modeling gigs for three months before landing employment in Jack Webb Production as a secretary production assistant. She also took a job as an assistant to the producer for Little Mo, a television movie based on the life of tennis superstar Maureen Connolly. Lydia had a knack for bit part roles. 
Lydia's first taste of the on-screen spotlight was in the 1979 movie Steel. She had a bit part role as a girl in the car. A bit part, also known as five or less in US filmography, refers to the act of direct interaction with the principal actors with no more than five lines as a dialogue. In British television, it is known as a walk-on part. While in an episode of The Love Boat that ran from 1977 to 1986, she had a professional speaking appearance with two lines. She then became part of the cast for the horror suspense film Blood Tide in 1980, which took her nine weeks of filming in the Greek Isles. The movie was released in 1982. Sarah Rush arrived at the scene. Finally, Lydia got the part of sweet, alluring Sarah Rush, a prominent role in the ABC situation comedy series, Too Close for Comfort, which ran on television from 1980 to 1986. The said series was re-aired on Antenna TV and Tribune Broadcasting around 2011. Lydia's fictional character Sarah Rush was described as a ditzy, full-blossomed blonde. Robert Francoeur, a biologist author, described the said fictional character acted by Lydia Cornell as a classic female stereotype in the mold of Marilyn Monroe and Jane Mansfield. She made a guest appearance in the popular television series Charlie's Angels, which aired in 1976. Lydia also made appearances in numerous single episodes of The Drew Carey Show, Full House, Simon and Simon, The A-Team, Knight Rider, The Dukes of Hazard, TJ Hooker, Hunter, Hardball, Black Scorpion, Hotel, Fantasy Island, and Curb Your Enthusiasm. She also appeared in television game shows such as Match Game Hollywood Squares Hour, Battle of the Network Stars, and Super Password. She was invited to the Daytime with Donna live show, where she was also credited for her appearance in Me, Miami, and Nancy, in which she had the chance to co-star with Robert Downey Jr., Steven Tyler, John Bon Jovi, Cloris Leachman, Malcolm McDowell, and Gary Oldman. It won an award at the Park City Film Festival and was also on the list of Toronto film festivals. She wrote and directed Venus Conspiracy, which aired in 2003, co-starring Deborah Van Valkenburg, who played her sister on Too Close for Comfort. She also appeared in HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm in 2005. Cornell's net worth is over a million dollars. Lydia Cornell is considered one of the richest modern TV actresses and is part of the list of most popular TV actresses as well as the elite list of famous celebrities born in the US. Her estimated net worth range up to 1.5 million. Not bad, Lydia. She is an AFI Best Actress nominee and she also won a People's Choice Award. She has been into over 250 shows, television episodes, and movies released worldwide. She was married to Paul Hayland from 2002 to 2010. Currently, she has no record of any new relationship status. Lydia performs stand-ups both inspirational and comedy. Aside from acting, writing, directing, and producing, Lydia Cornell is an advocate for children. She conducts regular inspirational public speaking for the youth. She is quite outspoken about her socio-political views in her blog, tweets, Facebook fan page, and event talks. She continues to write and do stand-ups for the same topics as well. She cited her recent piece of advice for the young on her Facebook page. Train your mind like a dog. Don't allow it to run all over the place peeing on your dreams or your furniture. We hope you got inspired by those wise words, and we hope you get to see more inspiring celebrities in our upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and receive our utmost appreciation. Stick around.